The Las Vegas Raiders will be my main franchise series team here in Madden 25 for now. I will be relocating them as I do with all of my franchise series, but as I recorded this on 814, Team Builder is still not ready. And let me just say, I have been in the lab like Dexter, making 32 custom logos. I'll also be starting a new SFL series where all the teams in that league will be custom relocated by me and available, uh, you know, on the download center if you guys want to use them as well. But I picked the Raiders for several reasons to be my main franchise series team. Number one, we are kind of in quarterback purgatory. Obviously, Garner Minshew is the starting quarterback, and he's more or less a bridge QB. I mean, I guess he was a pro bowler last season, so I guess he could do something, but I don't think that anybody really expects him to do that. And Aiden O'Connell is the backup quarterback as of right now. Maybe he develops in real life. Maybe he doesn't. I can almost guarantee that here in Madden, he will not develop. He's 26 years old. He's normal dev, sub 70 overall player. And there's just not much you can really do with a guy like that. So even if he ends up being good in real life this season coming up, it'll be very, very hard to do anything with him here in Madden. So you can believe we're going to be going after a quarterback probably in the first round. We have our star wide receiver, Devontae Adams, but he's 31 years old. So how long until he starts regressing? He may be regressing already. He's a very good player, but doesn't have Aaron Rodgers slinging the ball to him here in Vegas. So not sure what his production is going to look like. Jacoby Myers, the wide receiver number two, is good. But could he be a true number one wide receiver? That leaves much to be desired. He's had good, you know, solid three seasons in a row now, but not sure if he really is, you know, the long term guy to replace a guy like Devontae Adams. We have a young up-and-coming tight end room, though, Brock Bowers and Michael Mayer. And, of course, one of the best edge rushers in the game, we have Max Crosby. But aside from he and Christian Wilkins and maybe a few other pieces, defense needs some work. So we should be pretty bad here in year number one. And I'm excited to get a new franchise series started here in Madden 25. As always, we will be on all Madden with the default sliders. May mess around with those as, you know, the series advances. But I typically stay on the default 50s. I usually change injury. I may change fumbles. But aside from that, all the main stuff, I typically leave it on the default 50s. We're going to do 10 minute quarters. Same as my Sentinels franchise. Got the accelerated clock running down to 18. We'll see how long the games take. I can usually have a game in an episode, you know, edited and cut in under an hour. That's always the goal. Obviously doesn't always work that way, but for the most part, and then everything is on manual, you know, fully custom. We will have uh, full control over everything in the league. And I did change as I always do the talent cost modifier down to slow. I like to really work and grind to get those coach points up. I could put it on slower or slowest, but I feel like slow is a good, happy medium. You're not leveling up your coaches too much, but at the same time, you're not waiting like, you know, three, four games to even buy one thing. And then everything else is also going to be on default as well. And Coach Smalls is back after leading the St. Louis Sentinels in my previous Madden 24 series to a Super Bowl. He is back now in Las Vegas, soon to be somebody else uh, coaching the Las Vegas Raiders. And he is going to be looking to duplicate that uh, that previous run that he had with the Sentinels and bring a Lombardi trophy back to whoever this team ends up being. Now, we're going to jump into training camp here, um, you know, going to go through, try to hopefully maybe get some dev ups, uh, going to be rocking with Gardner Minshew first for the target passing. And like I said, we will 100 percent be going after a quarterback in the first round. And Minshew, like I said, interesting case. You know, he had over 3,000 yards last season with the Colts, made a Pro Bowl, which doesn't you know, hold the same relevancy, I don't think, as as maybe it did at one time. But Minshew has shown that he can get the job done when asked. But again, like I said, just being his age, being a pretty low overall, being uh, normal development, he's there's not really a whole lot that you can do with he or Aiden O'Connell. So we'll see how it goes with Minshew to start, but expect to see you know a new face here in this franchise, assuming that there's some talent that is in the upcoming draft class. And maybe we do see Aiden O'Connell so at some point in this season. Not saying that that's out of the realm of possibilities. And I think in real life he may uh, he may be okay, he may be fine, but there's just not a whole lot we can do with him here. 
And, you know, if I feel like if we are seeing Aiden O'Connell at any point in this season, that would probably mean that uh, we're losing or that Minshew is throwing a bunch of picks, stuff like that. And boy, I'm not uh, my first time doing this drill here. I like it. It's fun. Um, but, you know, <laughs> not having the best showing for Mr. O'Connell. If this is any uh, any any way for him to show the coaches that maybe he has some flashes and that maybe he can get the job done. He's he's not doing a very good job. And I'm not helping him out either. And uh, boy, I really hope that there are some some big names, quarterbacks in the first round. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing well at all. Am I at silver? I am at silver. Maybe we get gold here. I don't know. It's hard to say. But uh, we've seen some really good QBs in these these past seasons. Of course, Damon Sanders and JJ Ford, to name a couple. So maybe there's going to be a big guy that we can snatch up in the first round and not have to worry about seeing Minshew or Aiden O'Connell too much in this series. Alexander Madison is going to be our running back number one here. Okay player, you know, spent the first four years with uh, with Minnesota, never had a 1,000-yard season. He's a serviceable option, but if we can get Zamir White, our former fourth-round pick, maybe get him a dev up or get him a breakout. Obviously, he's a little bit younger, so maybe he could be the guy, but running back also not something that I'm opposed to looking at in the early rounds. I mean, you got to have your skill positions locked up. You know, you got to have quarterback. You got to have running back. You got to have uh, really a star, true number one wide receiver. Right now, we have one of those things, Devontae Adams being the star wide receiver. But aside from that, we don't really have too much else that is a for sure lock on this team. Over 100K for Alexander Madison. Is that worthy of a dev up? I mean, that would instantly solve our running back not problem but situation if we could get madison to to star dev here in the preseason i have seen it happen not gonna happen we'll get him a skill point so you know i guess that's uh better than nothing and of course not gonna use adams in the drill he's already at x factor we want to try to continue developing jacoby myers as i mentioned he's been a consistent option he's had uh four seasons of 800 plus yards which is nothing to scoff at it's pretty good but him being 27 years old, he's star dev. Can he be a wide receiver number one? Uh, initial observation, I would say probably not. But in Madden, you never know. Maybe we put him in the slot. Slot guys always get involved and get tons of yards. So, uh, but just like running back, quarterback, you know, not opposed to looking at another wide receiver. I can tell you more than likely, if the talent is there, it'll probably be quarterback in round one definitely but after that options are open wide receiver running back we need offensive linemen deep really tons of pieces on the defense and that's why i chose this raiders team as you see got gold there already that's why i chose them because there's a lot of work to be done and it should not come easy show me that deep bomb Minshew. we'll give him a chance come on myers moss somebody hey he caught it so 24k for myers Dev upgrade to Myers would be huge. Going to superstar. A guy can hope. A guy can dream. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, and a guy can have it. Dev trait upgrade. Are you kidding me? Okay. So uh, Jacoby Myers is now superstar. That changes things drastically. 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 I was not expecting that at all. And we now have a X Factor wide receiver and a superstar wide receiver as well well done i imagine brock bowers is going to have a very good year for us 13th overall pick by the raiders of course back-to-back -back national champion with georgia and the combination of he and michael mayer could be fun michael mayer being a second round pick so they went uh tight end heavy in back-to-back -back draft classes and i can definitely see us running a lot of tight end sets here as you see we're able to get that 400 and 200 we already know Brock Bowers is hidden. I'm assuming it's star, but what about an upgrade for him? I mean, I'm still stuck on that Jacoby Myers upgrade. I can't believe we got that. Maybe we can get one with Brock Bowers as well. We got the gold, so it definitely is possible. And come on, Minshew, fit it in there. Of course, my last pass is going to be deflected, but show me a dev upgrade for rookie Brock Bowers. Make it two for two. Make it two for two. Come on. Come on. Show me the money. Not going to get it. And let me just tell you, I am not very good at this drill at all. 
and I need to be because we need our second round pick, Jackson Powers Johnson, to develop. Not a whole lot of pieces on the offensive line. Colton Miller is a good one, but uh, Jackson Powers Johnson, he needs to be the guy protecting Minshew, Aiden O'Connell, and hopefully whoever our future quarterback number one ends up being. This is actually probably the best that I've done on this drill. I was kind of messing around with this one last night, and I, it's hard to not run into the quarterback, I feel like. But right now, we're doing very good, and giving our man uh, JPJ, as I will call him, a chance for a potential dev up as well. And not going to get it, because I ran into Minshew like I said I would. <laughs> so it'll take me a little bit of getting used to for that one, but I'm not going to keep trying and going back and trying to get gold. We'll just settle for the bronze. He's already hidden, so hopefully uh, Mr. JPJ can develop as well. Of course, Max Crosby is the face of our defense here in Vegas, and let's be honest, in many ways the team, I mean in every way the team too, but rookie Tommy Eichenberg out of Ohio State, what can he do? He can get tripped up by some turnstiles there, but he has the potential to be something, a hidden dev, dev trait, so going to be at least star, I mean he's going to be star for sure. But our linebacking room is not very good, so hopefully Tommy can develop and be a nice weapon for us on defense. Got a new message from our offensive coordinator. There's supposed to be a ton of new storylines here in Madden 25. So Rod Starling says, ready for the press conference this week. Coach Smalls is always ready. They're going to ask me about position battles. Be careful what you commit to. Got it. And I've been watching lots of videos, and there are some pretty uh, pretty lofty promises that you're going to have to make sure you stay true with you know, t with your teammates. So the question, next question, I'm, I'm not sure I got the first one, but you should be having a halfback position battle according to most experts. Which stat will determine the winner of the battle between Alexander Madison and Zamir White? There will not be a battle. Oh, yes, they were. I would say... You know, it's the preseason, so we want highest yards per carry because Madison may not get a lot of touches. Damir White and others, you know, we got Tamir Abdullah and Dylan Lobb, you know, people like that since it's the preseason. They may get a bulk of the carries. So I say the best way to judge who should be the starter is yards per carry. You know, now, if a halfback gets one carry for 40 yards, does he, does he win that? Does he win that battle? I don't know the answer to that question, but... I do know that Jacoby Myers now being a superstar, I just can't even believe that that happened. So we'll take a look at his ratings. What's he need the most work on? He's a he's a slot guy, mainly, and he's pretty good at medium. Not the fastest guy out there. He's okay. I would say his, you know, his route running probably is what needs to be the most uh, improved. So we'll go playmaker first. We'll probably also go slot as well we do get two to medium route which i do like we get one to short route no speed which i was really hoping for um you know let's just get him to an 80 overall playmaker why not that gets him closer to his a scheme fit he's still higher in the slot role and he gets plus three to deep route and plus two to medium route so we got ourselves now very reliable options for wide receiver one and wide receiver too. Can't really give him too much in terms of the abilities. Um, distract defenders for long. No, we'll give him deep in elite, I suppose. Matchup nightmares. He's going to win contested catches when covered by linebackers and linemen. How often will he be contested by linebackers and linemen though? I'm not sure. Um, so we'll give him short in elite and deep in elite. I guess that seems like the best move to go with for now. But that is huge. That is very huge. Alexander Madison, he's going to have a couple upgrades as well. He is uh, more so a power back. And we get a look and see what he needs work at. I mean, he's solid. I don't like the 86 speed, really. I wish that that was a bit higher. His his spin move could be higher, but that's not really his game. Um, so, you know, I suppose we'll just go power back. Maybe we'll go one to power and one to elusive. Power back gets us plus two to stiff arm, plus one to break tackle. Not really the best upgrades. Elusive back will give him one to elusive back as well. And he does get plus two to the spin move, which is nice. I also like the plus one to agility as well. Brock Bowers coming in as a rookie already at 78 overall is huge. I think that we need to, you know, not really going to be utilizing him too much in the blocking game. I mean, run blocking. Yeah, sure. But he's going to be out there running routes. He's going to be out there running routes. We're going to try to get him involved downfield and we're going to go vertical threat that gets him up to a 79 and the vertical threat uh, upgrade usually gets you a lot 
For tight ends, we get plus two to medium route, plus three to spec catch, even a little bit to blocking too. And of course, plus two to catch in traffic. But aside from Devontae Adams and newly acquired <laughs> superstar dev player Jacoby Myers, Brock Bowers is probably going to be one of the guys that I look to get involved the most. And of course, Tommy Eichenberg. He's, you know, a raw player, but the hidden, de hidden development could be huge. And we get a look and see what he needs work at. I mean, the power moves, the finesse moves. He's a run stopper. So he's going to be looking to, you know, kind of clog the middle there. So, you know, we'll go run stopper. Why not? That seems like the best thing to give Tommy and all it takes in Madden is one good game. You know, we know he's uh Eichenberg is going to be star dev and all it takes is one good game to get a breakout and he could instantly be superstar and instantly be something that we have for the foreseeable future. And looking at some of these messages here, it looks like there's a lot of players on the trade block and our GM says, take a look at Jonathan Grenard from the Vikings. He could be an upgrade over Tommy Eichenberg. I mean, obviously like Tommy Eichenberg's a rookie. He hasn't even played uh you know one snap yet in the regular season so i mean give my man a break looks like bryce huff from philly is on the uh or i'm sorry yeah bryce huff looking at tyree wilson huff might be an upgrade middle linebacker elan and roberts so we'll have to keep an eye on this you know there's also jalen warren from the steelers probably not going to make any uh you know big moves as of right now but definitely something to think about as we progress into the regular season and we can also get a look at the stats from that screen, too, because we have a running back battle. So who's winning after one preseason game in uh, yards per carry? OK, well, right now it's exactly tied at 3.9. Very good. So I have to continue and see how that develops. I'm probably going to play the moments of the San Francisco game. We'll go ahead in advance week here obviously when the regular season comes around then it's full gameplay mode you guys know how i rock if you've been watching me in my uh my main franchise series is but here in preseason we'll get a look at some of the guys get a look at some action and you know probably play the moments stuff like that but uh, one you know one last look at the lineup man i love that yellow over there by jacoby myers and of course the red on Devonte adams offensive line we're gonna have to get better on the right side most definitely Andre James is good. JPJ could be and should be good. Colton Miller, obviously good, but we got Cody Whitehair and Andres Pete. Not the best options. Tight end room, pretty solid. We also got Harrison Bryant, if I can get to him. Former Cleveland Browns and Mackey Award winning tight end at FAU. He's good. I watched him on the Browns play uh, many, many games. Tight end room is locked, and I do like it. Obviously, I did have to release Michael Gallup because he retired in real life, but we got Trey Tucker. The speedster, Jalen Guyton, not really the best option, but, you know, he's he's something. And then linebacking room, yeah, I mean, Robert Spillane is good, but it's no, he's normal dev, semi-older player, not going to develop. Divine Diablo, kind of the same idea. I like Trayvon Merrick, Marcus Epps, going to probably need to upgrade. Corners, I mean, it's not great. You know, I do personally like Jack Jones. He's had some lapses at times, but also has made some great plays. But what is he going to do here in Madden land? We don't know. Nate Hobbs is good, but, you know, aside from that, not really too much to work with. And then Max Crosby, Christian Wilkins are good. But we need more depth at D-tackle, and we definitely need some help on the right-hand side as well. So a lot to do, but uh, I imagine season one will probably be a little rough for us. They want me to score five rushing touchdowns as a weekly game plan goal. Yeah, there must be some really, really good drugs down in Vegas because that is not going to happen probably in any game. But I'm rocking with Brock Bowers, Jackson Powers Johnson, and Tommy Eichenberg as the focus players. And you see, I just got kicked off of the EA servers. So that is absolutely lovely. That's happened three times already. I know we're still here in early access mode, um, but I've gotten kicked off three times and it's starting to frustrate me a little bit. We'll get a look at our first gameplay action here in Madden 25. Got the new announcers, but we're not going to be hearing them because I'm not trying to listen to two people talk in my ear as I'm trying to focus and talk to you guys. But the Raiders here in the AFC West, of course, we're going to have to take on Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs two times per year. We're going to have to take on Justin Herbert and the Chargers two times per year. Really looking forward to those two times that we take on Bo Nix and probably Bo Nix and the Denver Broncos, but it is going to be tough having to see those two teams twice per year. And we're starting out here on defense. We got them. Uh, so I got to get used to the scoreboard here too, man. The scoreboard's all different. I may move my camera over to the left-hand side. I'm not sure. You guys let me know 
if you want me to move it or if it looks good, but uh, Brock Purdy now at Star Dev, and he gives it to CMC, but CMC is dropped there. Uh, not in the back, yeah, for a loss of one, actually, so good defensive stand by Robert Spillane and these Raiders, and this is also an important game, too, because depending on what happens, we could have the, well, we're gonna, no matter what, probably have the winner of the Alexander Madison Zamir White battle. And right now, we're playing good defense on the 49ers as Brock Purdy checks it down, but for another loss. Big third down here, we got Max Crosby's X Factor activated and got to watch, of course, George Kittle over there. And that is probably going to be a touchdown. It is going to be a touchdown indeed. Deep bomb up the seam to Debo Samuel. And that didn't take long for me to showcase my defensive talent or a lack thereof, which you're probably going to see a lot in this series. Um, you know, I feel like I'm a, and somehow the Niners got the ball back. I didn't even see, I guess we turned it over or something. So not a great start for these Raiders, but, uh, you know, you guys, if you watch my, my gameplay, I, you know, don't claim to be anywhere near the best Madden player. I'm, you know, I'm okay. Decent at times. I have won a Super Bowl in my Sentinels franchise and also with the Thunderbirds in the SFL. Obviously hoping to do that again in, in this one here. But I feel like it's going to be a long road with uh, maybe a lot of heartbreak along the way. <laughs> we got uh, receiver wide open here to give to CMC. And I'll tell you what, if nothing else, our run defense is sure looking good to start this first preseason game. Can we stop Purdy, though, and these Niners? That's the question. Nope. Going to be another touchdown looking very, very easy. For these Niners, and just like that, Juwan Jennings is going to make this 14 to nothing. Can I get a play on offense? Can I get a drive on offense? Is that possible? I don't think I put it on only defensive moments. Yeah, there we go. Third down alert. Play the moment. We got the ball here, and it's going to be our first time seeing Garner Minshew and new superstar Jacoby Myers. And we may actually be looking Myers' way, as a matter of fact. Nope. We'll just go to Barack Bowers' first grab of the season and also makes a man miss. And he is plowing forward. Like I said, Bowers is probably going to be a huge feature in this offense. Actually, both tight ends. And just like that, we got the ball down into the red zone. And we have Alexander Madison as our running back to Minshew's left. Will it be him or Zamir White? That is the question. Madison not going to get much going as he has dropped there for no game. I may be looking Jacoby Myers way on this play action shot if he can get open which I think he did. Jacoby new superstar paying it off already. I mean in fairness that route usually does get open but doesn't matter. It was Jacoby Myers and will we be seeing that a lot this year a Garner Minshew Jacoby Myers connection? I sure hope so. Minshew under heavy pressure too got the ball off just in time. But Jacoby Myers is going to score. And now our, the defense needs your help, it says. Your defense needs your help. You're not going to get it from me. I'm sorry, defense. If you're asking me for help, it's not going to happen. Maybe uh, Max Crosby can, can help us and get in the backfield. It's going to be a give to CMC. And the run defense is still on full display as Tyree Wilson shuts that play down. See if it's another give to CMC. We're going to press up on the line. I want some more people in this box here. Brock Purdy's changing the play. It's not going to be a run to CMC. It's going to be wide open, and that is actually good for a first down. It's Brandon Ayuk, who, who the heck even knows where he's going to end up by the time the regular season starts? I sure don't. I have no idea. Uh, first, the Niners, you know, didn't seem like they were going to entertain keeping him. He tried to get some trades going with the Steelers, the Pats, the Browns, and now they're saying that they want to find a way to keep Ayuk. So I, who knows? He's here in this game. That's all I know. And we're trying to prevent the Niners from getting in the end zone here. I think that it's going to be Blitz City. Has to be. And hopefully uh, maybe Divine Diablo can shoot a gap possibly and get back there. CMC is going to be the motion man. Come on, get to Purdy. It's good defense there. Batted down at the last minute by Jack Jones, who I was just talking about. Really, really hope that he does well for us this year. Blitz in again and pressing Divine Diablo. I need you to... Shoot a gap this time. You couldn't do it last time. Purdy looking. It's good defense, but something tells me that's P.I. Probably. It is P.I. Unfortunately. Marcus Epps. And 
had a chance to hold him to a field goal, and unfortunately, we failed. We have found a way to get the ball to the red zone, and actually in great scoring distance, and now we have Amir Abdullah, so I was hoping... You know, maybe Zamir White. We'll go ahead and double team the nose tackle here. So I guess we're not going to see Zamir White. At least not on this drive. But maybe Abdullah can get in. He's going to be close. Trying to push the pile forward. He is stonewalled at the one. And we got to be careful too because this clock is ticking down. Um, Not really, you know, obviously this is a preseason game. But still going to be playing it the same way that I normally play these games. And want to score but not give the Niners a chance to score themselves. So we'll pretty much let this thing tick all the way down. Come on, Amir. I know you can do it. Bang. He's in. And let me see. Maybe the camera looks better on this side. I don't know. With the new scoreboard, we'll have to wait and see. I know you guys can't see the play clock if it's over there on the right. It doesn't really matter. Um, and I don't. I just don't like the way. Like, I feel like my, I don't know. I like it better on the right is what I'm saying. But we'll keep it on here for a little bit. Maybe that's better. You guys let me know what you think. We're here on third down. We're taking control of the drive here. It's third and six and need to find a way to potentially tie this game up. It's uh, still a good, you know, still ball game. Good clock management by me on that last drive. I'm kind of surprised that Minshew is still in here. Um, let's uh, custom stem. I like how you can custom stem these routes now. Maybe trying to uh, Let's see. Trying to go to nope. drag custom stem wasn't working too well. Whatever. It's fine. Brock Bauer's going to get it. And a little surprised these starters are still in here. Maybe I have to manual. I don't think I have to manually take them out. Um, they're in. We're rocking with them. And now we have the ball. Another third and down. Third and four. Adams could be a read or maybe Michael Mayer on the drag, which oh, it's going to be tough. Yeah. Michael Mayer, I thought he was going to be open, but uh, defender followed him pretty much step for step. And it looks like we are going to have to settle for a field goal, which I'm also trying to get better at these as well. The college football style kicking and takes a little bit of getting used to. That one is going to be good. Luckily, we got a good one in Daniel Carlson. Can I say the same about his brother in Green Bay? Anders Carlson, but whatever. We got the good, the better half of the blood here with Daniel. And we do narrow things up here, 21-17. Yeah, I can't do that camera, guys. Uh, so if you really want me to move it to the left, let me know. But I am not a fan of it. It's throwing me off. I'm always used to recording a certain way. And defense there was good. But George Kittle does score. And really surprised that these starters are still in here with, you know, deep into the third quarter. I mean, it is what it is. And now we find ourselves down by nine. So Madison back in the game here. Hopefully he can have a good drive here. We're going to give it to him on the inside zone and instantly shut down in the middle there. Not a chance as Madison is dropped and someone is injured. Looks like an offensive lineman. Do not want the injuries to start piling up this early in the season. That much is for sure. Yeah, I just realized that was Jackson Powers Johnson too. That was number 70, Jackson Powers Johnson. Hopefully not anything, uh, you know, long and nagging because he's one of the last guys that I want out <laughs> to start. The season we're trying to develop him and improve this offensive line. Can we get some pressure on Purdy? You got to be kidding me. It's not even Purdy. Okay. Well, this one's pretty much over. It's only preseason. We're just playing the moments here. Danny Gray is going to score and, uh, you know, probably going to drop. Uh, we're 2-0, we're too, oh, too, in this preseason so far. But got a chance to, you know, maybe come back here with five minutes. I highly doubt it. And now we get a look at Aiden O'Connell. Yeah, okay. Now... Now the third string guys are in. Just check it. Check that thing down there to Harrison Bryant. I was talking about him pregame. I like him. And we're actually pretty deep at tight end. I like the way our room looks. Well, on the 17 here, let's go a little RPO action. I've uh, from playing college football. The RPOs are pretty much ingrained in my brain. That one, unfortunately, didn't work. Uh, didn't work too well. So does Aiden have the stuff? We're gonna give him a shot here to maybe hit Jalen Guyton or somebody, or maybe uh, there's Zamir White too, just checked in, but maybe Guyton, back corner of the end zone. That's what I would like to see. Nope, just got to check it down. And ball was actually out in front of Zamir White. So now it's third and nine. If these blitzers come in hot, we could have Bachman, but we're definitely, uh, we're going to give him a shot. That's picked. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was boneheaded, man. That's boneheaded. And uh, that's going to be the game. So, you know, not a lot of takeaways there other than I'm curious to see who's going to win the halfback battle. 
Um, so 35 17 is probably going to be the final. Well, we actually got a chance here to score and make the scoreboard look a little bit more respectable. So you better believe your uh, freaking britches. I'm going to be doing that. We're also going to audible this into a four reverts because Bachman may get open here on a quick strike drop, which is exactly what's going to happen. Nice ball there from Oak. Oh, no, he dropped it. Well, we know who's getting cut in the bye week. Uh, oh, Guyton up the steam here. Maybe we look at him as our first read. Yup. And a decent ball there from O'Connell again. I'm playing this drive like it's two minutes to go and this game will win us the Super Bowl. I am trying to score. A little screen pass there. Nice blocking off the outside. Tried to juke him in. Unfortunately, we were not able to. But really going to try my darndest to get to us. Let's do some deep shots with O'Connell, right? Got to see his arm strength, what his accuracies look like, you know. Even though, probably not going to use him too much, but you never know. Stranger things have happened, and we're going to give our receiver a chance. Too much traffic, though. There's Yeah, there's no chance. Looking for Bachman, but that, that thing was never going to work. Second and 10, I might be looking at Harrison Bryant on this Texas route. That's exactly what I'm doing. Harrison Bryant getting some action here in this preseason game. And if nobody ever watched him, I'm sure if you're not from Cleveland or, you know, I'm from the Canton, Akron, Canton area. You probably didn't watch too many Browns games, but I'm telling you, he was good. And I'm probably looking for Bachman here. No, it's not there. So check it down to Harrison Bryant again. Third catch, at least that I've seen, could even have more. And we're in a good spot here to score. I do like it. We're going to go four verticals, and I'm sure I'll probably put somebody on a drag. And that somebody will probably just go ahead and be Harrison Bryant. So I really want some blitz there on the left side. Show me some blitz. Nope. And Brian. Oh, I sh why did I press X? Why did I press X? I was, I was expecting a tackle. And I was thinking that I was going to have to break the tackle and be in a tackle battle. And unfortunately, I slide. And we probably had six there. But it's all right. 30 seconds to go. See if we can score on this drive. We have a nice zig route there from Guyton. And gain of four, we'll go ahead and call timeout. Six yards to go till the promised land. Can we get one score? We should have it there with Wilkerson, and he shut down third and inches. All right. Where's my stick route? Where is my stick route? I don't have it set. Oh, wait. That's a, that's a gun stick. Not the stick route that I wanted. I wanted the single back stick, but you know what? We'll take the gun stick, and this may just be... Wilkerson should be the first read, but we're going to throw a terrible pass. And it's our last chance to score here. Trusting our running back to pick up one yard. If you can't pick up one yard, you're cut from the team. And you, sir, just saved yourself a roster spot. Maybe. Maybe. That's a Dylan Lobb, rookie out of New Hampshire. He's our third string running back. So he, he may see, so, or he's our fourth string, I think. I think it's Amir Abdullah and then Lobb. Or is it Lobby? I don't know. But at any rate, we score. That's nice. 35-24 is going to be the final. I mean, they want us to kick an onside kick. Why not? I mean, <laughs> stranger things have happened. And where are my onside kick plays? They're not showing up. Well, San Francisco recovered it. Whatever. That's fine and dandy with me. It is what it is. And that's going to be the ball game. But uh, decently, you know, 35-24. Hey, I will take it in the preseason against a powerhouse like San Francisco, you see the pastronaut Josh Dobbs and then coach CJ Smalls in all his drip and his swag out there on full display. And we're going to get ready and go ahead and start the uh, first season here. Check out some things like see you on the battle, see if there's any upgrades, stuff like that. And next episode, we are going to officially start the gameplay and the relocation of this series. Wow, Christian Wilkins going to be out three weeks with an abdominal tear. He's like our second best defender, man. So now we basically just have Max Crosby on the defensive line and that's it. So, you know, he will only miss two two weeks of the regular season, though, because we have the bye here. But let's see who won the position battle with our running backs. I'm thinking it's probably going to be Madison, but you never know. Preseason's over. It looks like our position battle is complete. Based on, yeah, Madison won the battle. Do you agree he won? Um, I didn't look at the stats, but I'm going to take Rod Starling's, you know, word for it. Yeah. So there we go. I'm sure he and the team will appreciate you keeping your word. And Madison earned plus three boost. The ball carrier vision, break tackle, and stiff arm for the next three games. And the entire team 
earned a plus five morale. So you got to watch on these stories here. You really want to be keeping your word to your team because you could get some good morale boosts. You can get some trust, stuff like that. Heading into the team meeting, be right there. You ready for a team culture speech? I know we do this every year. Yeah, I'm ready. I don't need your help, Roy. I know what to say to fire the boys up. The team meeting room. Dun, dun, dun. So epic with the little pan over to the screen. This morning, I want to talk to you about our team culture. Team culture defines how we play every single week. I see like 10 people showed up to this meeting. Thank you for that. What culture do you want us to embrace? Physical playing with toughness, explosive splash. Yeah, we don't have much time to answer these. Physical playing with toughness. That's something that you can do, you know, even if you're not necessarily there with the talent, you can give it 100%. You can be physical. You can push your opponents around. Gardner Minshew loves it. Well, I'm glad that you love it, Gardner. So let's start this season off right. Physical culture we have. Every player on the team will receive a plus three boost for the entire season in tackling on defense and run blocking slash breaking the tackles on offense. I do like that actually a lot. Divine Diablo says our culture is changing. And if you play us, you'll know it every single week. That's right, Divine. You tell them, man, they're going to have to come to Las Vegas and they're going to be feeling it the next morning. Even if we go 0-17, right? All we want to do is make sure that the opposing team is feeling it. Give them some bumps and some bruises. And, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and set our season goal here, which I think conservatively speaking seven wins i'm not expecting to make the playoffs especially having to play kc and la twice per year but seven wins you know i feel like and we're going to be starting out with herbert and the chargers as well and we have a new message from our starting running back or at least about our starting running back so we'll see it is madison and the athletic trainer told me to ask you about what you want me to work on during camp camp is over my man um told me to ask you about what you want me to work on during camp. Yeah, I mean, work on conditioning and stamina, but do it throughout the course of the season because, you know, I probably should have done injury, but hey, that's all right. Madison is in mint condition. The player focus will focus on conditioning with the trainer and his stamina has been increased by plus three. Hindsight, maybe I should have done injury, but at any rate, we'll go and talk to the media at the practice sidelines and uh, see what they have up their sleeve here. This is the Raiders practice field and got some people in attendance to watch whatever the heck it is we're doing. Coach, going into the season, what area, uh, okay. What area of your team is the weakest? Gotta be our defense, right? I mean, our offense is, especially now we got new superstar player in Jacoby Myers. So if the defense is weaker, what part of the offense is the strongest? I mean, I maybe shouldn't have answered that uh i guess our passing attack coach smalls is a man of few words our passing attack he says can you be more specific no i can't wide receivers yes maybe i should have done tight ends there but wide receivers we got Devonte adams and jacoby myers superstar they are the backbone and what would a successful season look like statistically four thousand season passing yards i don't know it's kind of a lofty goal but it's Madden. It's Madden. So I feel like maybe we will be able to achieve that. Uh, thanks. We'll check back at the end of the season. Thank you, Miss Reporter Lady. I'm hoping that we get it too. And we just promised our team that we would throw for 4,000 yards. So uh, really hoping that we can do that. Look what it says up there. Garner Minshew mm -hmm. strength. I don't even think he knows. He's like, dang. I, okay. Coach Smalls really talked me up. I wasn't expecting that. But uh, so that's the preseason, guys. When we get into episode two, I am going to be relocating this team, you know, to one of my created teams. And I really, really can't wait for you guys to see what I've done. I literally spent a week designing these logos. And as soon as Team Builder gets up, I'm going to be able to start making the actual teams. And uh, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. So really definitely check out the SFL series. When that starts, I'm going to be doing back to back SFL and main franchise, just like you guys are used to. So the content will be a plenty here. And I'm sure you guys are gonna, gonna like it. And I, I, you know, I hope that you do. I sincerely hope you do. So hey, that's gonna do it for me though tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.